So the inductance of this RDM 6300 uh, magnetic antenna or coil antenna is 0.42 millihenries with a resistance of 7.2 ohms. And this is a 125 kilohertz um, RFID module. The impedance of this coil, which is a printed circuit coil with eight spiral turns, eight centimeters in diameter, is 0 0.02 millihenries and the resistance is 3 ohms. So this one was not designed specifically for this job. It was designed for power scavenging, but it still works with the reader. This spiral antenna has 15 turns and it is about 17 centimeters by by 10 centimeters and its impedance is 0 0.05 millihenries at 5 ohms. So this large coil antenna, commercial coil antenna, has an impedance of 1.1 millihenries and a resistance of 0.19 ohms. So it's got these major leads down here which allow a lot of power through it. But when we're putting the same power through this one as the other antennas, it's not as good as the large spiral PCB coil that we tried. We're just going to have a quick look at what uh, the signals are coming from this 134.2 kilohertz RFID reader look like on an oscilloscope. So if I turn on the power, we can see this uh, scope probe just has a 100 kilo ohm resistor across it. And we can see that the uh, reader is putting out bursts of uh, signal at 132. 134 kilohertz. If we clue in here, we can see that it's 134.2 kilohertz on those bursts. Now, if we make this a saturated signal, we can see that there is between the major bars here, there are some lower amplitude uh, activity. And when we put a, um, a tag in the field, you'll see that the power cycles, which are supplying power, are these high ones. And I guess in the middle is where this thing starts to modulate the signal. So if we put this in here, you can see that the power cycles go down in half and there's some activity in between the power, which is quite different from the 125 kilohertz type signal. So I haven't really got a, a, a document that says what's going on, but clearly when we put a, a tag in here, the power cycles go down to half of what they were and it starts moduli it starts probably emitting something in between the power uh, cycles and of course as it stays there these little modulations decrease in amplitude so it's just of interest I'm not sure what's going on I haven't really investigated it too much but I just wanted to have a quick look and what's going on with the scope and we can clearly see that it does change the power cycle frequency as well as it's doing something with modulation in the middle. 
another thing we wanted to look at is how much power is coming out of the device and we can use this power scavenging coil which has one LED on it to see if there's power coming out that's readable and uh, hopefully the camera will pick up that the LED is illuminating here all the way up to about this height and it's just turning off there but down here it's e easily e visible hopefully that's just a quick measurement to show what these coils do when they're uh, operating at 134 kilohertz now I do have another circuit here which is just an oscillator also oscillating a seven spiral coil circuit board uh, let's turn this guy off turn the other one on and put the probe over there and just he's constantly oscillating here we go so this is at 130 kilohertz which I think I recall setting up with this potentiometer and all it's doing is oscillating this circuit and this thing picks up the power a little bit higher right up to about here so it's a little bit stronger signal than what was put in by the RFI reader but just this one was really set up for doing uh, power scavenging through some distance I'm really hoping that that LED shows up on the video.